Okay, so I was gonna originally make you guys a trailer reaction to the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom trailer, but like, I literally, as soon as I clicked, you know, on my webcam, as soon as I uh, clicked the stop button, like, it instantly just crashed and just quit unexpectedly. And I reopened it, and all my footage was gone. I was, I was so mad. Like, I still kind of am, because I would have rather made a trailer reaction video than this, like, you know, sort of Black Ops 3 video. But, like, and, you know, I get to use some Black Ops 3 gameplay for once. I got a lot of it sitting around my computer. And yet again, like, I still get to talk about the Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, because, like, I just, I, I still really want to talk about this, like, trailer. I'm super, I'm super excited for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, like, for those of you who've been watching my channel for, like, a while now, you probably know that the first Jurassic Park film, the one in 1993, is, like, is in my top five, like, favorite movies of all time. And Jurassic World, back in 2015, was, um, my first legit movie review. And if it weren't for, and it's, it's a very solid film, too, Jurassic World. It's definitely better than Jurassic Park 2 and 3. And, like, it was fun, it was engaging, it, it really, like, helped Chris Pratt rise to stardom. Yeah, I'm really excited for his return as Jurassic Pratt. And, um... Like, uh, yeah, like, if it weren't for Jurassic World, I probably would not be reviewing and, like, seeing as many movies as I am now, because movie reviewing has become such a big part of my channel, and, like, the past two weekends, like, nothing is coming, like, all the stuff worth seeing, like, doesn't get its wide release until, like, Christmas or January or something like that, sad face, don't worry, guys, Last Jedi is coming soon, but yeah, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, like, the trailer, it looks insane, like, really, because apparently this is for the first Jurassic Park film that does not take place on Isla Nublar, and it's gonna, like, take place on, you know, I, I somewhere else. Like, it, the trailer, like, the most part looks like it takes place on the island. Because, you know, the whole emphasis is that, like, you know, Jurassic Pratt and, like, all these guys are trying to get the dinosaurs off the island before they blow it up. So, I'm guessing they're trying to kill all the dinosaurs or, like, just get rid of the island or something like that. And move it elsewhere. Or something. Like, the, the trailer, like, it left the plot rather, like, convoluted and, like, vague. But that's a good thing. Trailers shouldn't give too much of the plot away. So, like, it leaves the viewers even more excited for what's to come. In the, you know, the, in the actual film. And yeah, like, again, I'm excited for Jeff Goldblum. Like, he's he's finally, like, returning to this franchise. Oh, Jeff Goldblum, like, Chaos Theory. And, you know, the one big pile of shit scene, all that. He's definitely, like, out of all the human characters in, excuse me, in the first Jurassic Park film, he was definitely like, the most memorable. <laughs> and yeah, like, the dinosaurs, like, again, the special effects look great. Like, Jurassic World had amazing visuals, and so did the... Even, like, 1993 Jurassic Park, like, the CGI holds up well by today's standards. And, like, yeah, the introduction of some new dinosaurs, like, Carnotaurus is gonna be, like, the chameleon sort of dinosaur, from what I've heard. Like, he's gonna have really good camouflage. And uh, the Baryonyx, ooh, Barry, I'm excited to see where they're going with that Baryonyx. Because Spinosaurus, like, in Jurassic Park 3, like, Spinosaurus, I'm a big dinosaur guy, viewers, and Spinosaurus is, like... Is like my favorite dinosaur, so I was kind of hoping for him to return in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, but like, I, I don't think it's gonna happen. If they do, like, I still hope that they like bring back Spinosaurus at some point in this franchise. Just don't use him to replace T Rex this time. That's all I ask. And yeah, like, Barry Ox, really excited to see where they're going with that, and like, just so I want to see like what sort of you know. I, I'm just really excited what other new dinosaurs are introducing because you know, I, like, just the introduction of Carnotaurus and Barry Ox again as a dinosaur expert, I approve. So, yeah, like, all day, like, I heard that um, the Jurassic World, like, this, the Fallen Kingdom trailer was going to be, like, released today, you know, December 7th on a Thursday. I kept refreshing my page all day, and, um, just so, like, to wait and see, like, if I could find it. And I got, I found a lot of teaser trailers, and, like, and a lot of, like, fan-made trailers just behind the scenes, like, but nothing, like, legit, like, nothing from, like, any reliable sources. And I go on... I refreshed the page just now, like, about an hour ago, and yeah, like, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom trailer has finally been dropped by Universal Studios, I'm sorry for notifications that you guys keep hearing, so yeah, I'd be like, okay, this is the real deal, like, this is the actual trailer, so like, I'm actually interested to see what, what direction we're taking this franchise in, like, because I've heard one YouTuber best in slot, like, he deserves more viewers, like, he says... The, he thinks that the Jurassic Park franchise, like, if they're taking it to the mainland, so since this is not taking place on Isla Nublar, apparently, that, like, what if... The dinosaurs, like, wreak havoc on the mainland, you know, like, mainland United States. And next thing you know, we have, like, a dino apocalypse where, like, the government falls apart and, like, the dinosaurs break loose. And, like, and these, like, prehistoric animals reclaim the world. Now, like, bands of human survivors have to live in a dinosaur, like, as a, in a world that's now ruled by dinosaurs again. That would be such a cool premise. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And, yeah, if, if, you, if you're excited for Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, let me know in the comments. And, yeah, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. If you did 
give it a thumbs down. Who cares? All right, subscribe to my channel, please. Can we hit 400 subscribers by New Year's Eve? I'm really determined to hit that goal, and it's not that hard. All right, you guys have a wonderful night.